Okay, this video is about uh, relationships in an access database. So we've got um, currently one relationship set up, a relationship between contract and the invoice tables, and you'll notice that they share a field. So that's how we're going to set up our, um, our relationship. Now over here on the customer table, notice that I've got it open. Currently, I've got no plus sign here indicating that you know this would have a relationship with any other table. When in actuality, customer should be tied to the uh, contract table, and one customer can have many contracts. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and close this down, jump into the relationships area, right? Um, and what I'll do in this case, I'll show you how I got there. Database tools over to relationships, and I'm going to take customer ID from the customer table drag it over to the customer ID in the contract table, I'm going to enforce referential integrity, meaning when I change something in one table, it'll change in another table. I'll hit create, and now what I'll do is I'll get out of the relationships view, I'll go ahead and open the customer table, and all of a sudden we've got this little plus sign, and we can see that um, each customer has in fact multiple contracts. So, you know, Grand Rapids, for example, has one contract, Battle Creek has one contract, um, Happy Haven Daycare has one. Fins on the Waterfront actually has four contracts. So uh, relationships give us the ability to relate two tables together and to, to uh, display information such as show me the number of contracts per customer.